Hello fairy friends, it is Liz and I am back in my studio with a video about my vintage dolls. For a change, I had promised all of my fairy collectors more fairy videos about my fairy dolls, but this will be all about my vintage dolls and some things that I've found at the thrift store and at regular stores. Um, and I just want to kind of do a little show and tell. Uh, we have this little baby boy in here. And what I found for him recently is this little squeaky baby little deer toy. And it matches the giraffe that I have. It looks just like, you know, the same toy company and everything. So our thrift store has um, about four aisles of kids toys and they have little miscellaneous bags of things that you can find some treasures in and that's just a teddy bear that I found at the thrift store a while back and he just had character looked like the same time era and that is an allied eastern baby and I will come back to him because he got some clothes today so I will come back to that little guy over here, coincidentally, we have an Allied Eastern Patty Play Pal type doll. She's about 35 inches. She's about 3 feet tall. And she was missing her eyelashes. I wanted to show that in case anybody's having an issue with eyelashes. And if you're not ready to um, do the work that you need to do to get the eyelashes. She had a few. I plucked them out because it was looking sad. And basically what I did was I gave her a thick eyeliner on her upper lid. So from afar, she doesn't have that starey, scared look that dolls can have when their eyelashes aren't present. So from afar, she looks like she has her eyelashes. But I wanted to show her new dress, which kind of looks vintage, which also came from the thrift store, and her little sandals that came from the thrift store. And she's wearing anklets because her feet are just very scratched and marred and just beyond repair. So she has a little bag with her. And today, as a little aside, we went to the Lego Brick Universe convention in Dayton, Ohio. I took my son, my husband and I took my son. We had a blast. I found something there for myself. I know this isn't vintage and it's not exactly a doll, but it kind of counts. This is a little minifigure of Bob Ross and everyone knows I love Bob Ross. And I collect other, I have a, um, a Funko Pop doll that is of Bob Ross that my friend got for me. So he'll be sitting right next to the other one, but I just love him. And my my son usually makes a Lego figure for me as part of my birthday present, but he didn't have that type of wild Bob Ross hair. Anyway, on the way home, we stopped at Cracker Barrel, and I found these in the Cracker Barrel store. I love going there to see what they have. And these were 40% off. Look at that embroidery and the smocking. And don't these look vintage? I saw them and I was like, oh, I looked at my husband and I was like, oh, they're 40% off. So basically a little over $10 for each one. The little girl's outfit comes with some little white bloomers, which I'll show. I got the six months and I thought if they're a little bit big, I can fix that. That's an easy fix rather than if they're too small. And I was just, I love those. They look vintage. The cashier thought I was buying, she was like, oh, are you buying for twins? And I was like, no, not necessarily. <laughs> they're for dolls. And these colors go, and I'm showing you my studio here. That little girl, she's going to have a little spotlight too here in just a minute. My studio has the softer colors. So the nautical colors that I usually find and what I have already are the darker colors. So these are perfect. Now, back to this little guy, or girl, as I had said, this is Allied Eastern Baby Doll. I saw on Pinterest someone had a picture of them, and it said Allied Eastern Twins. Now, I don't know if that's how they just were, you know, displaying them, or if these were marketed originally as twins. I have no clue, but since then, this has been about two months ago, 
I've been obsessed with finding another one and having girl-boy twins. So when I saw these little nautical outfits today, I was like, this is, this is, this works. This is perfect. This is meant to be in my crazy little doll mind. Um, I would make one a boy and one a girl. And since basically it's the same mold, you just change the dress and it changes the baby's look a little bit to look a, like a boy or a girl. So tickled to pieces over those even though it's towards the end of summer, but that's when you can buy some really neat things on clearance. And so I got those at a good deal. So that's my show and tell for my doll clothes. And now I'm moving on to this little gal over here with this very distinctive face. She has the chunkier lower face. And if you are a fan of 80s toys like I am, and you'll probably recognize this as Kid Sister. And she was marketed alongside the My Buddy dolls. There were brown hair dolls and then there were the blonde. So I'm still on the lookout for the blonde in a good condition. This one I got from a friend who was having a doll auction on Facebook. And I just get sucked into those. But you can get some really good deals sometimes. She has all her eyelashes. Her sleep eyes still work. Um, her hair is in great condition. I think those are her original bows. She has her original overalls. And I don't believe this is her original shirt. But that's okay. I'm not all about having it original. I'd rather something look nice and well kept than original so I'm not going to keep anything that looks shabby like her shirt doesn't shut shut all the way she's not Tom Jones she's kid sister so she needs a new shirt <laughs> her hands are a little bit soiled but that's okay that just means she was well loved and I have to show you her feet she came with these real shoes these are real kid shoes as you can see a kid stomped around in something so those will have to get cleaned and I'll show you how I cleaned the little baby's um, shoes in the basket here in a minute. But I have no problem with cleaning those up. But I gotta show you her little tootsies. Her little soft sculptured feet. So her feet, she didn't take her shoes off a lot. She didn't get into any shenanigans with her bare feet. So back over to here, I meant to point this out earlier. These were an older pair of shoes that were gray and dingy. And what I did was I had looked around for um, shoe white, which I don't know if I'm just making that up out of my poor memory, but it was a thing. It came in a bottle and it had a sponge on the top. You took the cap off and then you squeeze the bottle and then like a white shoe polish came out and you could clean up your sneakers with it. Anyway, nobody knows what I'm talking about. Couldn't find it. So I broke out the acrylic white paint and I dry brushed it on and cleaned that up. You can still see scuffs. My intent was not to make them look brand new because that just wouldn't do. I don't want them to look brand new. I want them to look vintage. I want them to look slightly used. I even took the laces out, washed them, and then ran them also through the paint. And I just rinsed out the excess paint and let them dry. And to me, they look in excellent condition, way better than what they did. So enough about the shoes, back to kid sister. Her hair is in great shape. She's gonna get all nice and cleaned up. I have some overalls for her, she's gonna look nice. Now I'm gonna show you a little bit of my studio. There's me in the mirror. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show this. This is the non-decorated for any season look before I go ahead and put out my autumn stuff because fall is a big deal here at my house, mainly because I make it a big deal. <laughs> so this is the last thing non-doll related, but also finds from the thrift store having to do with fall, which you might see soon in another video once I have my studio all decorated for fall. These were sets of two 
that I found of these dinner napkins. Now we are not fancy here and there were only six of them. I bought every one that they had. I think they were 69 cents for two and I got six all together. So very cheap. I washed them and ironed them. They were brand new with the tags still on them. And like I said, we're not fancy here. If we had people over, it wouldn't just be six people. So I'm going to use these for table scarves. Um, maybe so, you know, I have doilies around. Maybe I'll change those out so they can get washed. Um, so you might see those laying out. I was very tickled over those. The colors are the softer um, autumn colors, which I love. And then on a different day, not today, I don't have that much energy. I went to Michael's and I checked out their Halloween and fall things and found this neat metal um, wall decor, this sign um, for fall. And that might go up here in my workroom, but I was thinking more um, for my kitchen. So in general, I won't buy it if I can make it, but this is something I can't. Then at Kirkland's that same day, I found these um, scented sachets. They were um, three for, oh, I can't remember now how much they were. They weren't very much at all, and they smell so good. You shake them. You don't even have to shake them. This spiced pumpkin smells so heavenly when I walk into my studio in the morning. I'll put it right here. The bear's happy. My doll's like, mm, what's that smell? It's so yummy. <laughs> so everybody's happy when you walk in and the room smells nice. And then at Kirkland's, I found this spray. And it's pumpkin patch is the scent. There's a lot in here for $2.99. I'm a cheapskate, so I don't spring for a lot of things. But this smells like pumpkin spice plus sawdust and I know that's weird and I know sometimes people have certain smells that they really love but I love the smell of sawdust I love it when I'm working down on my um, dollhouse workshop it just reminds me of just it, it it's just a homey smell I just love it anyway I'm probably sure if they put pumpkin spice and sawdust it wouldn't sell that'll do it for this video please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell button so you get alerts more vintage doll videos more tutorials on how to repair including coming up a dion um, quintuplet doll that i was given recently to repair and more fairy doll videos also for people who are wanting those thanks a lot have a magical day